Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's Nightfall ordeal. It is Sabbath and Song. I'm doing it on Legend, 950 difficulty. All my weapons and armor are on the screen right now. I've got a high view purposing on my bond, as you can see there's the there's my artifact. And I don't have hive armaments. If you do have hive armaments, put them on. They are very useful for this. Basically, throw a grenade, get heavy, straight into your magazine. What's the not to love about that? I have it on good authority, Mr. Rick Kakis, that it, the Hive armaments are dropping from normal menagerie. So if you haven't got your normal menageries done, go in and get them done. You can do three and get three chances to get them. And if you do the heroic, I think that's an additional chance. So this is a long strike. Uh, I, I missed out on 100k on this run. By about 8,000, I think I got 92,000. I'm still happy with the run. I, I was looking to try and get the 100k. I didn't feel too disappointed with it because you've got to run with two hand cannons, man. <laughs> you know, we'll speak about that later on. But uh, basically, I, I this isn't this isn't a bad run. Basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be relying on these. We're going to be relying on our grenades to make up the shortcomings. So... I've just put a charge grenade over. I'm just going to take that wizard shield down and let the grenade finish it off. Now, as you can see, I've shown you my artifact. That is oppressive darkness in full effect. It weakens enemies. It lowers the... I've got uh, Overload and Spike Disruptor. You know, very good. Very good for the Void. The Void grenades are just so strong. Bungie really have made it difficult to run in a, in a 100k solo. Run anything but Void. So once, you, once you've cleared that area, and bearing in mind we're using the hand cannon, primary hand cannon for the unstoppables. What we're going to do is we're going to back away over here and we're going to wait for this wizard and just three tap the wizard. And then if we, all, all, all the throw basically bar I think two of them, they'll all come to us. So we're going to stay in this position. We've got what we need back thanks to con Controverse Hold. Now, the, the Hive Repurposing. I've got Hive Repurposing on, you break a Hive Shield. And uh, you get your grenade back. That works for the Overlord Champions as well. So I was just going to pre-burn a grenade here. And just throw it over there. It'll take out some of those. those uh, Some of those Acolytes. Now as you can see. I want I want to kill that champion. As you can see. the One of the perks. One of the perks. Uh, one, one, not one of the perks. One of the modifiers is. When you kill one of those Acolytes. They uh, they drop a pool of fire on the floor. It's it's, it's quite. When I first seen the the, the perk, I thought that it's not going to be too much of a problem. It just you just can't push. So I see them bunching up there. It'd be worthwhile trying to get a grenade on top of them with all those enemies there. There we go. Controverse holds as it's very good. And you need to watch the screen. Now, what I've noticed is, when I throw my grenade, what when I'm throwing the grenade, it's worthwhile paying attention to the grenade bar. When you get kills when your grenade is active, it seems to charge faster. As you can see, I've got I've got my grenade back, but when I threw the grenade at the at the group, I never got a full grenade back. It's when I killed the next enemy, it went up again. I had never noticed that. So we're going to charge a grenade on this last night. So we do all we're killing from over there, basically clearing this area out, using more grenades, and you know, make, take the champion. I take the champion down as fast as I can, just so that I don't have to worry about him. Once you've cleared this area, just put a, a charge grenade there, kill those four, and it'll kill the next lot. So now we've got two champions in this next section. So we're just going to activate the door, get straight back out of there, and then we're going to just turn. And try to use what twenty one percent and clear these acolytes. Now we know that there's there's you can see the champion just there, but there's the unstoppable. I'll we'll just kill that last one. We're going to put a shot on the. You just to to get the unstoppable to proc. I will take down try and take down this barrier first to get the unstoppable to proc. You have to. Now as you can see, those grenades are so good. Once you charge a grenade and you get that damage. When you throw the grenade, I've, I've, the other thing you might have seen with the, you might not have seen, as uh, I've got, I've got fastball on. I've become slightly 
over reliant on fastball. It extends your grenade throw distance. Now it's got to the stage where the distance that fastball throws it is now the distance that my brain thinks all grenades should go. So I put the I charged a grenade on the first champion and managed to take him down before he got shield up. My way, of, my advice for the, and I said it in my last video, my my advice for those champions is charge a grenade throw on, make sure Ariana's vow is fully upgrade, f fully reloaded, put two or three shots off. And when you get two shots off, you'll know if you can kill him before the barrier comes up because he'll he'll still be flinched. If he's not going to put his barrier up, he'll still be flinched. So we'll just use this to take out these enemies. Use the Ariana. Now, I, I was remiss to, to kind of use this as my primary because it uses energy, but it, any kind of, any heavy adds, any orange bar, any elites or ultras, it's worthwhile using Arianas. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get in this area, we're going to clear this area with our primary and just, you know, once we take out the immediate threats, which is there's two there, there's two to the right here, which we'll just try and take them out with Ariana, one shot them, and there's two at the top. There's also two up by the wizard. We're going to charge our grenade, throw it up. That will take out the wizard, and it will take out, because the wizard's a void shield, so the grenade will do its damage. And it also took out, it took out the, the acolyte that's up there. So we've got one left. There he is. And then what we're going to do, I just couldn't get that last hit. There we go. What we're going to do is we're going to go up. We're going to take this orb. And then we're going to get behind this kind of blast shield on the right. Charge a grenade. Now we're worried mostly about this arc shielded knight. Now as you can see, we've got melted. So we've got two acolytes and an arc shielded knight. And now we're going to get a third acolyte. That acolyte spawns in after the other two. So now we're just going to go down behind this blast shield. I just was super relaxed there. Now what I done there was I basically done it's a form of warlock jump. If you're holding a sword or if you're holding any anything that you can melee and push yourself forward with. If you jump melee then boost, you'll fly forward. It's a proper boost forward. So I do that to get you'll see me doing it later on. You really do get a lot of momentum. So if anybody's ever wondered how people can you know fly so fast with swords or and I'm not talking about the World Line Zero fly. Just normal. Just swipe and go really fast. That's how you do it. Just a, not a boost jump. Just a singular jump melee boost. And that's how you do it. So we're gonna, we've are gonna we got a champion here. We've also got a heap of acolytes. So we'll take out the acolytes. I try and take all the acolytes to maximize my time. And as you can see, I nearly died there. Because the, it just the solar in here, it's... It's ridiculous. So take out all the acolytes and that maximizes your time and DPS on the champion. You don't want want to start fighting the champion, throw a grenade and all the rest of it. And then the acolytes eat the grenade up and the champion just puts his shield up. So as you can see, now as you can see, he kept getting flinched. If he keeps getting flinched, just keep shooting him. Watch his his animation will tell you if you can kill him before his shield comes up. So in this area, we've got two ogres, and we have a champion. The barrier champion is down by, right outside here, just down in front of us, just below. We've got the ogre, so we're just waiting for the ogre to stop, waiting for a grenade, and we're just going to pop a grenade using fastball right over onto his face, like so. And then we're going to take his health down, because obviously the oppressive darkness weakens enemies you seen how much damage i've done now what we're going to do is we're going to try and drop a grenade on top of these enemies and then throw the super kill as many of those as we can and we got the major so now it's just us and this ogre now it's just us so now we're going to push over to the right here. Once, you, once you've cleared up that section for yourself, we're going to push over. There's two arc shielded knights here with some acolytes. I'm just going to stick it. I was going to stick a grenade, but then I decided not to waste it. Just use your 21%. If there's any acolytes here, try and take them as well. He'll normally put this. Orange bar will normally put a shield up. 
and then just bring your area out which shoots right through the shield and watch out for those 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 flaming kind of those those flame balls so now we're going to clear this section up now it's worthwhile me adding this in because at the moment I'm just saying this is what I'm doing I'm going to do this I'm going to do that why didn't I get the 100k because quite simply I'm too I am too methodical that is what happened I like to go I don't like to skip things in strikes if I don't have to I won't if I beat something a heap of times then I'll be like right okay this is a quick way to do it but I want I I I just want I want to figure out how to get through these things and how to tell you guys how to get through these things because I've killed everything, not because I skipped this or jumped this. And I think that was my issue. So we'll put a grenade over on him. There we go. And he's now... When, you see the yellow numbers? The grenade is now critting him. That's crazy. We're going to get these two knights. So we're trying to get them close together so that we can do a bit of team up damage finish them off with the Ariana and there we go now we've got two night two wizards two solar wizards a couple of acolytes and the ogre now what I could have done and this is top tip I could have just killed the ogre and skipped the wizards now if you look at the time on the screen what 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 we know so say from about 10 minutes 30. Now I'm fighting these. Right. So there's one wizard. Now I'm still looking for the other wizard. Throw the, throw the grenade over on the ogre. That That's him. He's gone. I could go now at 11 minutes. I don't have to worry about any other ads. Now, the reason why... Another reason I was being a bit more methodical, just a little bit not not want to rush it is because the mod one of the modifiers on on this strike is uh you get you take more damage from void and you also take more damage from flying units wizards basically so it's you know i, I was banking on i was more worried about the completion than the 100k i knew i could come back i don't have to i didn't have time yesterday to farm it once i got the run done i was happy that the fact i had the run done so i didn't really have the time to farm it again so i was happy with this run it, it you know you you can adapt this run if you're going in with other people if you're going in for the solo this is how you get the solo done but you can adapt it that's what these guides are all for you know you can watch and you can learn and you can add your own bits. You can see where you can speed up. You can see where you could do it differently. Not everybody does it the same way. So we're going to push this section from here. So he, when you're putting, when you're taking these knights down, so you're going to take that one down from here with the twenty-one percent. Then just get out of here. Get up onto this ridge, up on up onto this platform here. Now we're going to charge a grenade, throw it down. We want the barrier champion. That's who we're really worried about. Now, he probably is going to put a shield up. And we'll take the shield down really quickly. We're going to put another grenade because we got a grenade straight back for taking his shield down. And that's him. Now, we'll take down these acolytes here so that we can get... Again, it's all about giving yourself the best... The best... Uh, the, creating the best situation for attacking a, attacking a, 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 a an area. So we're being methodical. We're clearing everything in front of us to give us the opportunity to mass attack this section. Because you've got two wizards, you've got a champion, you've got some acolytes. So we're going to charge a grenade. Now we're going to throw the grenade at the champion. And then Nova. That should kill everything in that section. Which it did. And we got the grenade back. Controverse holds just so good the more you kill with your grenade the faster you get your grenade back or the more you kill whilst your grenade is active so we'll just we'll just take what time just not so much take what time be safe that's what it's all about now we could have charged a grenade and put the grenade on the door i have done that but sometimes you don't get your grenade back so i i banked on not getting the grenade back and i just i just shot the enemies so clear these. We don't have a grenade. 
So we'll take out the acolytes. And that's probably the, the problem with the artifact. The artifact's amazing. It's, it gives you some really strong some really strong things. They did say that some of the artifacts would end up behaving like exotics. As you can see there, I put two shots. Knew he was going to put his shield up. Now I can put a charge grenade on him. And he doesn't stand a chance. I knew he was going to put his shield up. So when I took the two shots, I just waited. As soon as the shield went up, I then took his shield down with two shots. So once you get here, shoot that exploding barrel. Now you won't always kill all those enemies. But you'll always kill one or two of them. There's three acolytes over there. So I'll put a grenade down there. We want to capture the, the shielded knight. And that's that. We've got our grenade back. Now we've got two unstoppable ogres. This is where I burnt a bit too much time. So we're looking for the ogre. There he is. Now did you see, my, for anybody that doesn't know, I, know, I had to get out of there. For anybody that doesn't know, I wasn't even bothered. I wanted the artifact, but I wasn't bothered to start with. I was just going to run. Flying units and void do more damage. These ogres have insta-killed me more than once. So, the minute they stand back up, get your hand can out, and you see, see it flash? That's when you've got your unstoppable round. When you flinch them, stagger them, they now take more damage. They're, they're just ordinary ogres. If you don't flinch them, they, uh, they are super strong. So we're looking for the other one because the other one's super strong as well. And we don't want to get flinched. We don't want to get pinched. Not flinched. Pinched. There he is. I just caught him there. So we'll try and stagger him. There we go. And every time he stands back up... This time, I, 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 what I expected was, I expected them just to, that's what I expected. I expected them to charge me, but I expected them to just start firing straight away. And he, because because he's void, his shots do tons of damage. There we go, we'll stagger him again. And now, that should be him. Now all, we've got one ogre, we've got some some uh, acolytes. So just to recap on those those champions that you, you had in here. The ogre champ, don't push them. Don't push them. If you're good enough that, you know, and just for anybody that wants to say this in the comment section, and I feel a lot of people put stuff on YouTube for, it's a phrase I don't really like using because it seems like a pointless phrase, but this, you know, commenting for clout. It's the same as when content creators do stuff and they go, oh, so this was really easy. This isn't really easy. It's long. You need to be concentrated to do this. You need to have good concentration because... Lack of concentration, and, and this strike could be over. And it's... I don't think I I have done this super fast, but I do not think I was super slow. But it is a long strike. So what we're doing now is we're just clearing up the last of these enemies. I think I've cleared all the enemies from inside the room. We'll just shoot that. Now, when you shoot that barrel, what that barrel does for me anyway, is it tells me I could if I get a hit... If I get a hit on, on an enemy, and if, if I see the numbers come up one of the, the extra sides, I know there's still enemies there. So once I'd done that, I never bothered running up. The, the, the I never ru bothered running backwards. They weren't shooting at me. The, the, the Shriekers weren't shooting at me, so I decided to use that jump melee boost, which fires you forward. I was facing where I wanted to go, so it flew me straight into my cover. Then I died. Now, <laughs> you guys are well versed in this, so for anybody that's new to the channel, that's an accepted, that's just going to happen there. Void damage, you're going to take more hits from it. So I took, I took the death, but it actually helped. Because I saved a ton of time. I saved an absolute barrel load of time. This is somewhere you possibly could save yourself some time as well. So I'm just one hitting those. I'm looking at the time. I can still score ma maximum points. I just couldn't get I couldn't get a shot on this wizard. She ran away. And then I thought she'd gone into the other room. And it turned out she didn't. I had to back away. Nearly got killed. That's why I was being careful. And I probably wasted too much time. Maybe not wasted. 
I was maybe forced into a position. See the way I'm trying to backtrack here? I didn't waste any time. I was forced into a position where I had to play strategically uh, and be safe. And I ended up wasting a lot of time. <laughs> and there's no getting away with it. I did waste time. Uh, now, when I'd done that, I realised as soon as I started firing, and this is where you could maybe make up some time, especially on the first one. First time you see that wizard break her shield, put, charge a grenade and put the grenade on her. You'll 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 finish her really quickly. I was just, I'm not killing these for any other reason than points, and she hasn't gone yet. So just, if you if you do attack her like that, oh. Don't let them push too close to you. I'm looking for the exit. Because I actually got here on one of my runs. And thought I was right next to the exit. And the explodes just walked into me. So know your know your environment. That's probably the, you know. Attack from safe places. Which is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get my, my weapon down as fast as possible. So that I can. So that I can see my mini map. So I can see what's pushing me. That's also a good idea. Don't Don't stay scoped for any longer than you have to. So, the wizard's gone, we're now in at the boss. Now, at the boss, we've got one barrier champion that I can think of straight off my head and an unstoppable. So, what I've done there is I put the grenade on, the grenade melted, the grenade got a bit of melt on, and then I put my super, which meant I done more damage. What I done there was well, the reason why you'll see me do it whenever I get a charged melee. I'm going to melee that. I'm going to try and find a, an, an enemy to melee if I don't have a grenade. Now, you'll see I've done that much damage to to, to Savathan that she went straight into her cocoon state in her second position. What does that tell you? That to clear two sections, two damage phases, a grenade and a super will do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear this enemy because the, the normally you get two arc shielded knights in this area. Well, where you get the second one, which is down here, is now a barrier champion. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and clear all these ads. Because like I've said, you want to maximize your time and your DPS within your time without having to deal with that. That's why we clear the acolytes. We clear the acolytes because we don't want to have to keep dodging that. When we're trying to take down the barrier champion. There are some people who think this strike is like super easy and super manageable. Well, I don't know what to say because that it, it actually annoys me when people say, Oh no, this is really easy to solo. Oh yeah, such an easy thing to solo. You know, I would find it really easy if I could map with every weapon. But that's comments for another time. So anyway, we're just making sure... You know, you can use this where I'm standing now, and you can have a look around this pillar. Just make sure you you and him are the last two standing. Put the grenade on him. Now, he will always dodge, and then like an idiot. Now, you can see, I tried to time that. I knew I wasn't going to kill him, so I timed my shots. I'm not going to put a grenade back on him. We'll just finish him, and then we're going to go to position B. So where we attacked from there is position A. Position B is here. Once you get here, you want to put a rift down. Now we know we're going to get acolytes. So what we're going to do, uh, throw, sorry, is we're going to put a grenade. Just hit them with a couple of shots. We've got our rift down. And as I say, just keep checking your mini map. And we're just, we're not going to bother with our hand cannon. Just put a couple of more shots on them. We're not going to bother with that. Now we are getting hit quite a lot. So there is another safe zone. It's just to our left. So as you can see, you can just back away. Or just reload. We know we've got more coming in. We know we've got more heavy down there, so we're good. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to try and put... And this was a time waste as well. Right? You can just back away. You don't want to be there when those flame shots hit. There's more acolytes. We'll get a grenade. And just stay here. Now, the, now what we're going to do, because it's it's probably a good idea, the minute we see another solar coming in, we're probably going to try and 
finish off all those acolytes. I was I was pr- I was hoping because they normally do that. I was hoping they would back away because I'm I'm not a threat to them. And for some reason, I could not hit crits. There we go. Now we've got the ogres. So we're just going to go down here. One of those ogres is a champion. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and keep ourselves safe. Just use the Ariana and just clear any immediate threats. So they've backed away. There's where, where we're target as the champion. So we've put that on, put the grenade on. Now what I should have done, and that's perfect example, we've stunned them, we'll throw the grenade and we'll probably stun them again. Second stun, and you see he takes a lot more damage when he's been stunned. Stun him again. And then put the grenade. And there he goes. Now we've got two more two more normal ogres, but there are a ton of acolytes here. I'm gonna try to keep our super. You probably could have you could super and take out a whole section. Methodical, maybe too methodical. So we're gonna get back into our position. Get some more special, take out these ogres. What we're basically leading up to is we want one ogre left. Because if you get Savathan down to a, a decent decent damage. Now you've seen what I've done. It's nothing special. I just grenaded and supered in the first section. And then hit a grenade with some Ariana. And then, you know, just kept pumping in the Ariana. And now I'm hoping that we literally are going to go grenade and super. And that's the boss killed. So... I probably did use, and, and again, this is a guide. This isn't a follow this and, and this, you know. Well, it is. Follow this and you'll get it done. But if you can adapt this, this is a 100k run. You know, we're still, I know, I, I've got friends who've done this that, that couldn't get the 100k in, in a fire team of three. And I was, I would get it if I kept farming it. No problem at all. A couple of more runs just to work out the kinks speed-wise. And I would get it. So we're just we're just trying to stay safe from the ogre. We're not pushing any positions where we can compromise ourselves. So what we want to do is we need some we need to have a look and make sure we're we're, we're all good for, with that. So this is another position you can take up to check. So we'll just get any special we need, and then we're gonna go back to this is point this is point B. So point A is in the centre, point B is here, and point C is where we just went to check out the, the, the area. So just reload, make sure you've got as many shots as you can have in the Ariana. And then as soon as this opens, put some shots on the boss. Get your grenade charged. And you see how much health the boss has got. We put the grenade on, we threw the super, reloaded. And as soon as the super hits, we hit him twice. And there you go. That is a complete run. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Chasma Screams. Was it always the Chasma Screams that came up? And I'll tell you what was really fun. Was this. I killed the boss before the game expected me to kill the boss. And uh, the wizard came. Thank you very much for watching. I always appreciate you guys stopping by and saying hi. If you've enjoyed the video, leave me a comment. Tell me what you liked. Tell me what you'd like to see. Th I appreciate everybody that stops by. I hope this helps you complete it. And I will see you guys in the next video.